Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today we're talking about the DP VR E4 4K PC VR headset update. Great headset for those who want to get into PC VR gaming without having to splash a thousand or thousand five hundred dollars and above, of course, because you know HP have closed down their VR division. So unfortunately, that means that we're not quite sure if they can provide, for example, customer service and all these kind of different things or replacement parts if anything goes wrong, of course. So the PVR E4 do provide that solution at this moment in time. Of course, it's this VR headset here, which looks pretty cool, I have to admit. So let me show you what happens after you actually connect the headset inside. You may notice that after you plug it in and everything, you still says offline or DP cable is not connected. So do check here the little red dot at the top here and just click on it like so. And then just go to general settings as you see the red dot there as well. And then you should see a pop-up that will come up like so. And then you just have to go to about and there you go. And it says update now guys. So do make sure to see if you have the version not Verizon. 4.1.627 available. So all we have to do then is to basically click on update now. Boom, like so. And then you have this window that will come up. I'll just take you through very quickly what you see as I actually do the update live with you. Of course, you can choose the language that you want, different kind of languages here. I'm gonna choose English, and then I'm just gonna choose next, like so. Now it's trying to configure it. my PC testing, making sure my CPU, memory, GPU, OS, everything is supported and do go to their website to make sure that you know you have the minimum requirements as well. And then you just choose basically, you know, yes, I've read, okay, I have to dance on tables and they owe me, I owe them my life and everything. Okay, fine. And then now downloading the VR, DPVR Assistant 4. So as you can see, it's gonna take a little time uh, there's about 661 megabytes and I will take you through exactly what the actual um, changes are in accordance to the actual update as well. So do watch this video until the very end guys so you get to see all the various different information, information excuse me about the actual update. So guys whilst the update is taking place you can go by the way to the discord of DPVR and you will see all the various different things here. So first of all, they improve the screen jitter and controller movement continuity. They also fix black stripe display problems in full series notebook NV GPU. They also fix screen flickering problem in the game. Optimize rendering algorithm to increase FPS of the game. Okay, that's great. Increase automatic detection of AMD GPU and automatically select the appropriate Refresh rate, I think that's pretty cool as well if you have AMD. Fix abnormal crash problem of VR player. Added hot news function. Okay, we'll have to test that out. Spanish and Italian translation optimization. Other bug fixes and optimization as well. So to be honest with you, I didn't really get a lot of screen jitter, I have to say, or black stripe display problems, although I'm using a 20 series. Um, and also the FPS is kind of okay. Flickering, I didn't really get any flickering issues. I think for me, to be honest with you, is the fact that the GPU, the way it handles the GPU graphics compared to let's say the uh, HP Reverb G2, is that it's just not a power beast hungry uh, machine compared to the G2. So you're losing about, I would say, 10 to 15% of graphic quality. For example, in Automobilista 2 or Aceto Corsa, you'll see a little bit more jagged edges on the lines of the electricity poles or the grills, or sometimes the crowd also seems to be a little bit more blurry. Or in Half-Life Alyx, the poles, the lines, also a little bit more jagged edges here and there. I mean, if you're new to VR, honestly, you won't notice it. But if you're coming from Quest 2, I think you won't really notice it either. But if you're coming from, let's say, a G2, or you're coming from a Pimax Crystal, or, I mean, if you have a Pimax Crystal, of course, you don't need a DP VR E4, but if you're coming from an index, maybe you might see it. It, it could be a little bit indexy, I guess. Um, but, you know, otherwise, if you're new to VR and all this, you're really not going to notice it, and you're going to have an amazing time. All right, I think the installation is done, so let's go back to it. So after the installation finishes, basically it will close automatically and then it will basically pop up again. And if you still see that it says offline your VR headset, 
do what I do, which is basically just unplug your, your headset and then just plug it back in. So let me just do that. All right, so it turns out that my DP cable display port wasn't plugged in properly into the GPU. So do make sure that, you know, it is plugged in properly. And then you can go to your settings. And by the way, guys, uh, DPVR will be releasing some accessories this month, I believe, or next month. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe to know the lowdown about all these different things. I do suggest that you keep your screen brightness to around 60%. I'm running it at 90 hertz refresh rate, but since we did the update, let me just click that up and then click on restart. So that basically we will run it at 120 hertz refresh rate just to see if after the update things are working better as it is true i did seem to have a little bit of issues uh when i was running it at oh, i'm holding the camera very strangely when i was running it at 120 hertz refresh rate before <laughs> okay so it's uh just doing its thing screen brightness all right now we're running at 120 hertz refresh rate and then for the controllers i guess it perhaps they might be some kind of uh also perhaps some update i'm not quite sure if the controllers will be updated or whether it's been updated already and then um yeah and then basically that's it so now what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to basically turn on the headset going to ghost tabber test ghost tabber i'm also going to test it with the uh, aceto corsa and then i will come back to the video so do watch until the end smash the likes guys if you want these kind of breaking news videos and breaking update videos let me know in the comments what you think do you have a dpvr e4 do you recommend it to other people what kind of updates do you want to see in the future both hardware but also software leave a comment below see you in a minute guys guys